y'all hey welcome and welcome back to summertime tarot for those of you who don't know my name is summer i'd like to start off by welcoming all the new folks i'm so glad that you could find summertime tarot hopefully this reading will help and resonate you in some way if it does don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos like this one and for all the folks who have been watching and subscribing to the videos or have done so already i just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for really you know rocking with me um i truly appreciate you guys for subscribing and watching the videos liking commenting sharing um but let's go ahead and get started this is a couple's love reading for the sign of capricorn sun moon rising sign so we're just going to take a look at what's going on with you and your boot thing any messages advice that want to come through for you guys all right, so let's go ahead and get started. so we have here boundaries and the divine feminine on the bottom of the deck we have intimacy okay so it could be that here the feminine energy in the relationship may be feeling a bit boxed in a bit closed in um, it could also be that the masculine energy in the relationship may be feeling like their boundaries are being kind of like shifted, changed, kind of pushed up against in order to kind of grow. I kind of feel like um, you guys are in a space where you're kind of outgrowing the old and trying to move into like a new territory, but this may be causing a bit of discomfort for the two of you right with intimacy here on the bottom of the deck i kind of feel like um you guys may be struggling or trying to find like your sweet spot trying to find the spot where you guys feel most comfortable with one another um and i feel like through the course of the relationship that has been changing and There may be some some changes that are going on that are kind of pushing you guys to hold your boundaries but also to like outgrow and to like grow beyond where you are currently in order to come together in new ways okay well let's get some more info here what's going on capricorn
Okay, bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Swords. With the world, Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, High Priestess, Death. Okay. So currently it looks like you guys may be, right, I do associate the queens here with the feminine energy in the relationship so you know um the feminine energy in the relationship may be feeling a bit the word that's coming to my mind is sheltered or feeling like they they've been kind of boxed in closed in I almost get the feeling like it's a it's a a desire to kind of move beyond to kind of let some things go to release and to kind of move into a new space here with the challenge being the two of pentacles or the block the two of pentacles and the eight of wands yeah i feel like you guys are you guys may be pulling apart from one another maybe moving in different directions um, maybe even one of you may be outgrowing the other one or feel like you are, um, or just moving in a different way, wanting different things. And this is kind of causing a bit of conflict in the relationship. Here we have the wheel of fortune and the seven of swords. So I kind of feel like. Yeah, like there's this desire to kind of almost kind of set out on your own or to almost like kind of find yourself or to find almost like separate yourself, right, with boundaries here, not meaning that, you know, you want to kind of leave the relationship or whatever, but I kind of feel you may have, you may be feeling like there's a desire to, to move beyond where you are to, to grow and to improve yourself and to, to, to become better. And I feel with this wheel of fortune, there's this kind of, this change going on within you. And there's like this desire to kind of move in new ways within the relationship, but also outside of the relationship, I feel like maybe even wanting to, you know, venture out, do your own thing, um, start connecting with new people, right? You may be feeling like you, you've been kind of boxed in, kind of cloistered. Or really, um, like you've been giving all of your love and attention to the relationship, but you kind of want more for yourself than just a relationship is kind of what I'm getting. And so here in the past, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Yeah, I'm kind of getting like a solo feel. You may have been feeling a bit um, lonely maybe even disconnected from other people that you love, other people that you care about, right? You may have been just giving all of your attention and your time, your love to the relationship. And it's kind of come to the point where you kind of want to spread out, do your own thing, right? And here with the energy coming in, we have the emperor, the seven of cups. Yeah, I kind of get the feeling um, there's some uncertainty here about where this relationship is going. Or even how to kind of come together for... Or just come together. 
and to kind of work through the current challenges, right? And it could be that you guys just maybe having a hard time communicating your needs, your emotional needs um, and desires. Or maybe you are, but you feel like they're going unheard. And I also feel like with this Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords here, that there may be like a desire to go back to how things were, to kind of keep things the way they are almost. But I feel like this may be going against what you want like you want some change you want some something new i feel yeah and here in your energy we have the eight of swords and the knight of pentacles yeah almost get that you may be having a hard time um Yeah, expressing yourself or coming together with your partner in like a positive manner if that makes any sense and here in your partner's energy we have the knight of wands and the chariot so they I almost get like a dismissive energy here they may be dis dismissing how you're feeling or what you're thinking and this may be making it harder for you keeping you in this kind of eight of swords like almost like an uncertain energy where you don't know which way to go or what to do but I kind of get the feeling you're afraid that of staying in this space, of not knowing what to do, not knowing what to where to go, or how to kind of come together with your partner. Maybe feeling, you know, at a distance, like you've been kind of shut out in a way. Right? But let's let's clarify. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups. It almost gives me the feeling like you may be feeling like you guys are standing on shaky ground where things aren't very solid or secure within the relationship. But I almost get the feeling it's because you're, you're kind of, you're changing. I feel like that there's this internal change going on. Um, and because of that, it's affecting the relationship. Not that it's bad for you to change. Right, I feel like it's a good change, but it's affecting the relationship because um, I feel almost like it's causing you to distance yourself from like past stuff or like you know past ways that of doing things, and this may be it could be upsetting your partner because you you know you're kind of different. So we have here the Queen of Cups again, the Page of Swords, the Ace of Cups in Reverse, and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. 
bottom of the deck we have the five of wands yeah i feel like there's a, a good deal of conflict here there may be like arguments skirmishes kind of thing but i kind of feel like at the root of this you know be it arguments or just like internal strife going on it has to do with you kind of feeling like You're not getting all that you deserve. You're not getting, I feel like, the love, the the tenderness, the, the nurturing that you deserve. Let's look at this Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So we have here the Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. And on the bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Wands. It's almost good that it may be It may be taking you some time to like process your emotions or to to express them. But also I almost get like there may be some pent up like small things, like small things that kind of have added up over time that you may have been kind of letting go in the past but now you're kind of in a space where it's like no i'm not going to do that anymore yeah i feel like these little things may have been weighing on you for some time and you've been trying to figure out like the best way to release them to let them go okay well, let's look at this wheel of fortune and the seven of swords So we have here the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Hangman in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Yeah, I almost get the feeling like you're at a space now where in the past you may have been um, putting other people, putting your, your partner, your relationship before before um yourself but now i feel like you're you have this awareness that it's time for you to to start thinking about yourself to start thinking about what you want and to not allow um the desires of others to prevent you from or stop you from getting all that you deserve all that you want right and some of you there may be you know some suspicions here with the seven of swords um some things from the past may have come up that you were unaware of to do with your relationship okay well let's look at this nine of pentacles and the three of cups Okay, 
So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Strength card, Ten of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. The song that's in my head is, I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. I almost get the feeling like if you guys have kids, maybe like for some of you, you may have kids and you may have been um, like really just giving all of your energy and attention to, you know, your partner, your kids. Um, and this may have left you feeling a bit like underserved or just like you, ha you haven't been taking care of yourself. You've only been focusing on other people's needs and it's kind of like, almost like this shift happened, this change happened within you or is currently happening where within you where it's like you're realizing putting other people first kind of leaves you drained, leaves you kind of you know not being feeling or being your best self and it's like you're ready to to kind of move forward in a new way like almost very much like you're unleashing yourself this new person who's like not taking no bs <laughs> kind of thing but i kind of feel like it's with this Eight of Swords and this this um, Knight of Pentacles, it is or it has been taking you a uh, some time to kind of get into this this mind frame of needing to focus on yourself and do things for you, not just for other people. Okay, but let's look at this Emperor and the Seven of Cups. Okay. Thank you. So we have the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Chariot. Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you, you may be wanting your partner to kind of take the lead on things, to kind of step up um, and to kind of start like almost playing their role doing what you know I feel you may have been doing in the past like it's like almost like needing even disbursement of like the responsibilities and all that kind of thing and I feel like this is you kind of coming into a space where you're you're able to kind of voice your concerns, voice your feelings. In a way that's um, like well thought out, that has... Um, Like where you've spent time considering other people's desires, other people's needs, but you're not putting them before your own. Okay, but let's look at, um, let's do this here, strength and the fool for your near future. So we have the Tower, Temperance, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Devil. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Yeah, I kind of feel like in order to get what you want, it's going to take you, like, being aware of yourself and others, but also, like, not allowing... Um, The desires of other people to kind of 
come in and block you from what it is you want. But I also kind of feel like in the near future, this is this is you kind of the relationship moving into this new space where I feel um, you're more able to get what you want because you know that, you know, you deserve it. And you're not kind of forcing or fighting or like, give me what I want. But you're, <laughs> you're like, okay, you know, this is what I need. And this is what I want, right? This is what I expect from you kind of thing, right? But let's look at your energy here with the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Wands wanted to pop out, but let's see. Eight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh wow. What's that one? Okay, so we have here Six of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Two of Cups in reverse. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune again. So yeah, I feel like you... You're in a space where you're aware that you're not getting everything that you want in this relationship. Um, but you may be having a hard time expressing that or opening up enough or in a way that you feel comfortable kind of expressing what it is you need. But I feel there is this change happening within you where you're kind of like taking your power back. And kind of like... Um, directing the course of things in like a new way i feel like with this divine feminine here you may you know you may be in a space where you're kind of like pulling your energy back you're like focusing on you um you're not giving or doing as much as you were in the relationship because you realize you know that has kind of left you feeling dismal is the word that comes to mind like unhappy unfulfilled in the relationship because I feel you were giving so much you were doing so much and it was like taking a toll on you to the point where you felt undervalued is kind of what I'm picking up here but it's like I feel like this is like a you're in a space now where it's like no more I, I don't want to you know I don't want to feel like this anymore Okay, but let's look at your partner's energy here with the Knight of Wands and the Chariot. Okay. That one is... So we have here the Fool... Queen of Wands and the Moon in Reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of the Nine of Cups. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like your partner in the past may have been very focused on their own desires, and they they may have let them you they may have let their desires rule them. And maybe even like control the relationship. Maybe like the speed or like the direction. 
But I kind of feel here with the Fool and the Queen of Wands, they they may be like entering a space where they are very much so much so much more aware of their own desires. But I almost kind of feel with this Queen of Wands here, it's almost like a uh, getting getting them under control. Like they're moving into a space where they are no longer controlled by their desires but they kind of control them and they're kind of directing the flow of it um. okay but here in your advice we have the ten of pentacles and the moon So we have a moon here twice. Yeah, I almost feel like with this here, Ten of Pentacles and the moon being your advice, it's kind of like it's a it's a need for you to make your feelings known, right? I feel like you may have been like in the past re repressing or kind of pushing down your feelings. Um, kind of. almost putting them aside in order to kind of keep keep things going keep things moving keep keep the house in order kind of thing this is almost giving me the vibe of like like someone who like a mom who whose kids have kind of left home Right, they got like an empty nest and now it's kind of time for them to kind of explore and to, you know, do them kind of vibes. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. But I just get the feeling that you may have been in the past, like really just focused on, you know, kind of keeping the home together, keeping the relationship together to the point where you, you dismissed your feelings. You kind of, uh, you know, let your partner kind of dictate and move things around you may have even just been um you know almost like picking up picking up their slack if that makes sense which kind of left you feeling you know maybe alone or like you were doing it alone like you didn't have any help But now it's kind of time for you to really focus on yourself. Okay. But let's get some more advice from the ancestors here. Well, first, let's look at the outcome. The outcome we have here, um, the Six of Wands and the Tower. <laughs> this is almost giving me like like healthy chaos, like good chaos where things are like shifting and changing, but in, in a good way. Like almost... <laughs> The image that's coming to my mind is like like a mom in the kitchen and like the kids are like, oh my gosh, where's my lunch? Where's this? Where's that? And like instead of like kind of being the one to be like, okay, here it is. This is what you need to do. It's kind of like taking a backing up and kind of allowing things to play out, right? Kind of almost like realizing things aren't going to go haywire just because you kind of stop giving all of yourself is kind of what i'm getting like there's there's a need for you to kind of allow things to move without you without you putting your hands into everything does that make sense i hope this is making sense <laughs> uh but let's clarify we can clarify the six of wands and the tower
Okay, so we have the King of Swords, the King of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. My bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this totally looks almost like what I was saying. Like, this is you kind of taking taking a step back and letting letting things play out, right? It's almost like, yeah, very much like taking your power back, right? Almost like allowing your partner to kind of step into their power that kind of thing right because i feel like e you may have been kind of inadvertently like not on purpose kind of controlling things like like I was saying, like maybe picking up your partner's slack or doing things for them, controlling everything, but in like a like a loving manner where like, you know, what's coming to my mind is like the like the Stepford wife that kind of has everything in order and kind of, you know, lays out and irons her husband's clothes and like fixes all the meals and does everything. And before he even asks the question, she knows the answer, that kind of thing. Not saying that that's you, but that's the image that's coming to my mind. And I feel like in doing that, you kind of made everybody, like if you have kids, right? You made yourself the go-to person when, for any and everything, whereas going forward i kind of feel like you're moving in more moving into a space where you're allowing people to do what they need to do you get what i'm saying i hope this makes sense i hope so but let's let's get some more advice from the ancestors here to go along with this ten of pentacles and the moon So we have the lovers, the ten of pentacles, and the seven of swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups. Yeah, I feel like the ancestors are kind of here saying you focusing on yourself isn't isn't bad for the relationship. Right? It may be time for you to kind of slip away and do do things for you, do things that make you happy right yeah and not just you know things that are good for your 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 partner or the relationship but like what what do you want what do you need Right, because I feel like with this Seven of Swords, your own kind of feelings and needs in the relationship, although you may be kind of feeling like you may be, uh, what's coming to my head? 
like compromising in order to help the relationship or to improve the relationship or, or to improve you know your partner inadvertently indirectly you're kind of taking away from the relationship because you're not you're not giving yourself what you need does that make sense i hope so but let's go ahead and close this out with some advice and a spirit message so let's see what's the advice here for capricorns couple capricorns So we have here Cougar, assertive. All right, we're going to also read from the book for this. So Cougar, in silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. Okay, the Nobu Cougar, also called Mountain Lion or Puma, is a totem of courage and confidence. Cougar is a formidable protector who will teach you to observe from the shadows and see the truth in silence. Your intuition, hunches, and knowing will be enhanced by your cougar totem. You will sense threats and avoid them. You are capable of seeing and securing sanctuary and abundance. Cougar people are often leaders with keen and decisive minds. You know how to inspire others, complete tasks, and get and set new goals. You may not be close to a lot of people, but you are a great encourager and loving friend to your inner circle. If cougar is new to your life, it means you are coming into your power. It could also mean it is time to take a leap of faith and go for your desires. Opportunities are at hand. With cougar by your side, you will know better how to set boundaries and protect your precious energy and time so you can pay attention to what really matters. With powerful Puma, you will, you will have grace, passion, and purpose. Have you been losing your temper and lashing out? You need time alone. Are you leaving things unfinished? Are you spending enough time in nature to regenerate your strength? Refocus and try again. Okay, let's get spirit message. So what's the final message here for the couple Capricorns? Summer rising sign. Thank you kindly. <laughs> what just came to my mind is, what is it? Mama got a brand new bag or something? That is strange, but okay. What's the final message here for the couple of Capricorns? Thank you. So we have choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Yeah. I feel like it's 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 time for you to, you know, spend more time with yourself, to connect with yourself and to to start Doing things for you, doing things for yourself, not just other people, not just your partner, right? Not just your kids, if you have kids, right? You may have been focusing so much on other people that you've you've lost your joie de vie, <laughs> right? Um, and it's time for you to get that back, okay? But that's all I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments how it resonated. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. Peace out.